Hey, this is Class Creatives, and in this video, we'll discuss how industry professionals use ZBrush and Autodesk Maya to sculpt and animate the best characters in the world for visual effects movies, TV shows, and games. Many of our students are curious about the ZBrush and Maya techniques that are used to bring visually stunning characters to life throughout the years. We'll take a look at how production has evolved over the years and why ZBrush and Autodesk Maya together are used by studios, online educators, indie developers, and universities to create and animate 3D assets. In this video, we'll discuss how some of the best studios in the world sculpt and animate with ZBrush and Maya. There have been some really amazing software advancements among competitors and open source software such as Blender, raising questions about where new artists should begin developing their own unique skill sets. We hope this video will provide insights on how studios are utilizing ZBrush along with Maya for the past several decades and how you can apply these professional techniques to your personal projects and skill sets. In our previous video, why the best 3D characters in the world are made with ZBrush for movies, games, and TV shows, we broke down the history of ZBrush and how it overtook Autodesk Mudbox and is now the industry standard for creating hyper-realistic characters, stylized characters, monsters, creatures, and more. Its ability to create extremely high resolution models, intricate details, makes it the best tool to create complex 3D characters and environments. Alternatives such as 3D Coat and Blender, although not nearly as powerful, are making strides in the 3D sculpting space with creators. The recent addition of ZBrush for iPad is also opening doors to artists being able to create amazing characters with Apple-based products, expanding their reach to artists. ZBrush allows up to 1 billion polygons of true geometry and allows artists to build their own brushes, allowing them to create extremely fine details. Professional artists gravitate towards creating their assets in ZBrush as it allows them to sculpt freely without worrying about technical details like UVs or textures until later in the workflow process. This gives free creativity so the artist can focus on the most important visual aspect of the model. The software was developed and designed for artists by artists targeting streamlined production workflows that integrate the concepts of 3D painting. Unlike regular 2D pixels that just hold color and opacity, ZBrush pixels are much richer. Each one stores color, opacity, depth, material, and even lighting information. This is why they're sometimes called 3D pixels. When you sculpt in ZBrush, you're actually manipulating these pixels, changing the shape and surface of your model by altering depth and material attributes, not just the color. This is how it can render such detailed 3D scenes in real time without needing traditional 3D rendering. ZBrush pixels are designed for real time sculpting and painting on a 2D screen, focusing on surface detail. ZBrush has evolved. Now it has full 3D modeling tools like DynaMesh and ZRemesher that make it a complete 3D software. Some of the world's greatest characters are made with hard surface modeling in ZBrush. This includes things like armor, weaponry, mechs, and machines. ZBrush is a very effective tool for hard surface modeling, even if it is typically known for its abilities in organic modeling. Adding details, masks, and precise extruding allow the artist an endless ability to add extremely fine details. ZBrush is one of, if not the best software for hard surface modeling. Highly stylized characters from movies such as the Spider-Verse and Mutant Mayhem utilize a mix of ZBrush for sculpting along with Maya, Photoshop, Substance Painter, Blender, and Katana for surfacing and textures to get a hand-painted comic book graphic element to the characters. By applying these techniques and approaches, artists were able to create 3D characters that were nearly indistinguishable to the concept art drawings. For the Spider-Verse character concepts, they were created in Maya with additional styling in Photoshop to experiment with what would later become the iconic signature style of the Spider-Verse franchise. Graphic line work on the character models can be seen in the early test sculpts enhancing the 3D geometry. For the characters in Arcane and other modeling purposes, Autodesk Maya was used for character creation and animation. They also used Maya for props and set pieces. Arcane is an example where it's not always about the software that is used but the talents of the artists and the end results. More simplistic and cartoony characters for video game franchises from Riot, Epic Games, and Blizzard utilize a mix of ZBrush and Maya to sculpt and animate their signature looking characters for gameplay and cinematics. Merging traditional filmmaking techniques with cutting edge visual effects is a necessity for virtually almost all movies, even when the CG elements are hidden from the viewer. Creating CG animals that blend in with the practical environments 
requires extremely detailed creature sculpts that are indistinguishable from the real thing. This can include extremely detailed grooming and simulated details like the 5100 feathers on each monkey featured in Wicked. Creating brand new dinosaurs with advancements in technology allows artists to create newly imagined dinosaurs and creatures that have never been seen in previous franchise installments. 3D printed models of creature heads that are painted at quarter scale that are hand painted are used as lighting reference maquettes to further enhance the creature sculpts. For visual effects movies, 3D animated features, cinematics, and video games, character sculpts need to follow industry standards for clean topology to create clean, highly detailed surfaces. This applies to hard surfaces, where there might be a need for sharp corners, hand and facial topology where clean loops will be critical for facial features around the mouth, eyes, and nose. This all ensures that when the character is rigged and posed, the mesh will look natural and lifelike in the final shots. For video games, low poly modeling helps assist with smoother frame rates and optimization. These techniques ensure that the character sculpts, rigging, and animation are all seamlessly combined to create believable characters, oftentimes indistinguishable from the real thing, and to further enhance their silhouette posing which is key for strong animated performances. ZBrush is the industry standard for creating extremely detailed character sculpts for movies, games, TV shows, and more. These highly detailed sculpts, which can consist of billions of polygons, need to then be exported to a lower resolution model for animation and later rendering. Decimation Master, a ZBrush tool, is often used to reduce the poly count of a high resolution model while preserving its surface details. This optimized model can then be used in 3D software packages such as Autodesk Maya, where the character can then be rigged and animated. Reducing the high poly count model will allow the animator and rigger to work with the character in production bringing it to life. Companies like Autodesk, Adobe, Visual Effects Studios like Weta, Animation Studios like Pixar and DreamWorks, and Game Studios also keep their proprietary technology secret to maintain their competitive edge. Disney Animation uses ZBrush to sculpt their classic 3D characters and Autodesk Maya to animate them. Technical proprietary tools are used to enhance the animation and character designs, such as their advancements in hair technology, going all the way back to Tangled's 70 feet of hair that even included a hair bible from Glenn Keane, stating the rules for how it should move. Frozen went through over 50 unique hairstyles. Moana's hair interacted with water and character movement, and Maui's long hair was a source of his spiritual power, resulting in them both having long, curly, wavy hair. Mirabelle and Encanto had type 3 and 4 curly hair, with loose ringlets that tightened in place. Hair movement was crucial in Encanto's dance sequences. These advancements and technology enhanced Disney's iconic character designs, and genuine animation acting performances to bring a truly unique workflow that brings together ZBrush sculpted characters animated with Maya seamlessly to the audience. Enhancing characters in their sequels is one of the aspects of 3D sculpting and design that might go unnoticed to the untrained eye. For Frozen 2, costume details such as individual stitching, fine threads in their clothing, and creating three-dimensional jewels were all done with advancements and technology to bring the characters to life in a new and exciting way. As technology advances, the bar for the standards and high fidelity 3D characters in animated movies is also raised. Reference also acts as a way for animators to experiment with actions in a less generic way to create unique and alternative approaches to give character movements a more entertaining and engaging interaction of elements on screen for the viewer. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. We'll help you take your 3D and 2D art to the next level. Learn from industry professionals with experience teaching at accredited universities. Land that new job, receive higher pay, and stand out from the competition. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. Production can oftentimes involve unique situations that require realistic references for real world lighting and shading information. Studying how light interacts with actors in suspended positions are crucial when building them digitally. Photo scans of each actor are also necessary to create an indistinguishable digital double. Capturing every angle ensures that the CG doubles are absolutely faithful to the real life counterparts in terms of texture, modeling, and overall look. 
This ensures that the digitally created replicas are so accurate that it's virtually impossible to tell the difference between the real thing. Specific situations might require teamwork, using multiple disciplines from each department. Taking a hyper-realistic CG sculpted asset in ZBrush mixed with effects from Houdini can create some extremely convincing results. Practical effects mixed with CG help bring more heightened realism to the workflow. Creating CGI characters that are emotionally expressive are extremely important for visual effects production, and it's critical for the animation and character sculpting teams to work together to ensure that the emotional aspect is executed convincingly. Animators are required to strike balances between designs of creatures that appear imposing but might need to behave pet-like or playful to support storyline narratives. It's not uncommon for meticulous CG muscle systems to be created within the character sculpts so that animators can translate subtle emotions into deep believable expressions. Facial rigging requires hundreds of facial shapes to allow animators limitless full ranges of emotions to express everything from sadness to joy. Details like corners of the mouth and extra attention to details in the eyes are all extremely important to ensure the characters can perform genuine and believable acting performances. Building rough models in early production from concepts and conducting experiments can help artists realize that oftentimes concepts do not always convey practical believability in CG. Sometimes scripts are very vague to describe sequences, such as 30 seconds of robot awesomeness, and the art team might get full reign to design and create the CGI elements. Blocking in animated movements help create contrasting tones and battles, that can further be enhanced through stylized layout camera moves, crowds, and of course the character design sculpts. CG characters need to be extremely detailed, as they often involve sequences when they blend in with live action actors and shots. The process can include starting with paint overs and Photoshop to illustrate the intended look at each stage, which is then taken to 3D where the effects can appear more practical and organic, instead of a more obvious CG generated sequence that can take the viewer out of the fantastical world intention. Such was the case with the Miripod Mantis. The legs proved to be a challenge to allow the creature to balance. Animation was used to bring the legs and arms to a believable locomotion, bringing the concept to life as it used its arms like millipede legs, adding to the creepy crawly effect. Oftentimes, walk cycles are created for a base movement. This allows a starting point for shots so that everything doesn't have to be animated from scratch. Artists often use real-life references such as beetles and other hard-shelled creatures to enhance the realism in their character sculpts, so that they are much more believable in their materials and shading. They aim to capture the subtle color shifts and iridescence seen in insect shells to heighten the realism in the final 3D assets. For live-action versions of the classic Disney animated features, complex details in the facial rigging, animal muscles in the face that humans do not possess, were meticulously researched so that the animals could snarl and talk convincingly. A combination of human and animal muscle structures were used for their mouths. Details in how hair moves, clumps, and interacts with the environment were also a necessity. Small details for animation have to be considered, such as when Rafiki lifts Simba. For singing animals, their CG heads had to be repositioned so that they looked more natural. Breathing had to be timed with the dialogue, and muscles in the diaphragm needed to move like they were actually singing. When characters lack facial features but need specific behaviors, animators will take inspiration directly from real-world reference such as animal mannerisms, poses, and emotional cues. This is critical since some design elements can naturally lend themselves to being creepy or aggressive, which may not match the intention of the character in the storyline. This research will in turn also translate directly into how the digital rig is created to help support animators convey a range of emotions from fear and suspicion to curiosity, excitement, and happiness. The techniques of using real-world animal behavior as reference for animals and creatures is absolutely critical to ensure believable and relatable emotional expressions even in non-humanoid characters. For complex battle sequences, such as those from House of Dragons, three dragons were included in the sequence. They were all very different, especially in size, and the size difference really impacted the performance and animation that was put into each of them. 
For complex sequences such as these with tight television deadlines, handling previs focusing entirely on shot design, story, design, and choreography are critical. Dedicated animators bring in their deep understanding of animation mechanics, whether that be complex mechs, realistic humans, or even how fantastical creatures like dragons move and behave. Combining extremely detailed character sculpts from ZBrush and animating the complex rigs inside Maya are all part of the professional workflows of the best studios in the world to create these hyper-realistic sequences. To make the dragon fight sequences clear to the viewer, each dragon was created as an individual character with their own fighting style. They made sure each dragon had its own distinct personality. Scale was also key. Older dragons were animated to emphasize weight, making her movements heavier compared to younger, more agile dragons with faster wing flaps. For complex battle sequences involving a lot of movement and chaos, Silhouette plays a critical role so that the audience can tell exactly which character they are looking at during the action. These attention to details are often considered very early in production through the use of character turntables. Examining the design and shapes further enhance the silhouette to ensure that the poses and movements are as clear as possible to the viewer. Posing the character in turntables versus using their standard technical pose also helps ensure that they will read well during complex scenes with multiple characters moving and fighting. This not only enhances visuals, but also personalities as well. Well, that about wraps up this video on why top studios and artists utilize ZBrush for sculpting highly detailed characters and how Autodesk Maya is used for the animation along with stylized sculpts and critically acclaimed franchises such as Arcane. They're both still important critical pieces of creating 3D characters for video games, television, and feature films. The production workflow has made some slight changes over the years. However, ZBrush is still regarded as one of, if not the best, applications for sculpting professional 3D characters. And Maya still is the preferred animation software for professionals. We hope this video was informative on the development process of the CG industry over time, how it has evolved, and how the top studios in the world use ZBrush and Maya for production. Are you using ZBrush along with Maya for your personal projects or as a working professional at your studio? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Perfect!